anytime that, uh, that we have a little ball security issue, we always pay a little bit of extra. Because uh, again, we do it as a group. Uh, because again, everybody's impacted if we, if we put the ball on the ground. Can you talk to us about the pecking order at the running back position right now? You know, it's competitive, very competitive. Uh, Wayne, Wayne is at the top, and he's pushing hard. CJ Davidson, uh, like I said before, has a, has a really, really good look in his eye. He's competing. It was good to see Choice get out there in, the, in a situation where he could get hit, and uh, he looked good. And then, uh, then CJ Fuller, CJ Fuller, uh, besides today, has probably had the best camp so far, really, really progressing. So, so that's the pecking order right now. But again, it's far from being settled. They all got to compete. What about exactly. Die? Die, yeah, die. Die's coming along. Die's coming along. But right now, those four guys have probably had the best. Uh, and then Zach, you know, Zach had the heel and is just now trying to get back healthy. Uh, so don't want to give him an assessment yet. Want to get him healthy before we make a true evaluation. Right. We talked about doing a little bit more. Um, was it just the mood of practice a little different just because uh, Chris Winnie wasn't here? You know, I hadn't really sensed it. There's been great energy. I mean, this is an impressive bunch. They're just blue collar. They like to work. Uh, they've had great energy. There was really good focus today. Uh, they did get a break with the weather a little bit. Uh, but uh, no, they've been, they've been focused and they understand that uh, there's still an expectation. And Coach Sweeney let them know prior to uh, him departing to go be with his family uh, that nothing changes. They know the standard. And, we, and as coaches, we hold them to the standard. So it's really been good energy uh, since Coach Sweeney's been home. As you did with the running backs, you wanted to run for the tight ends? The tight ends? Uh, you know, Leggett's been quiet, but he's been steady. He's been doing a really, really good job. And I tell you what, Garrett Williams, like I said in, a, in my last interview, has been very, very impressive. You know, JJ's getting back into, a, into playing shape. And then Cannon, you know, Cannon is, is, uh, is progressing every day. And he gives us something that we haven't had. Uh, he gives us that, that on the line kind of guy with that nasty demeanor about himself. But then he's athletic enough and fast enough to get out of his face. Uh, so they got a good, they got a good, healthy competition going in. Sex, sex been good. Um, just, just trying to go, come back from that knee battling every day. Uh, and we know that's going to be a process, but uh, you know he's a warrior. He's going to give you everything that he has. We just have to make sure that uh, that we that we take care of that knee and get him to the uh, get him to season. Remembering your time as a player and then and then coming forward, tight ends much deeper than ever ever before. And uh, if you'd speak a little bit about the they're just general importance. Well, to keep the key to this offense for us to play, and, and we want to be a two back spread offense. You got to have a tight end that's versatile enough to play in space and then also be tough enough and physical enough to come in the box and be that lead blocker so that we can run some of our schemes. So it's a, it's imperative that you have a quality depth at that position. So, you know, we talk about the skill guys all the time, the, the receivers and the bats, because everybody follows the ball. But the, if the position that makes this system go is that tight end position. What about second dream wearing yellow today? Yeah, just, just being smart with his knee. Just, just obviously, he's uh, he had he had a, a serious injury that he's coming back for. And again, you know, he's a proven guy. We just want to make sure that we take care of him and get him to camp. And, and, uh, and he felt a little something, so the training staff just decided that uh, that was what was best for him. Was Ryan Norton getting closer? Was Ryan Norton getting closer? Yeah, I, I believe Ryan Norton's getting closer. He moved around a little bit today. And then again, you know, got obviously got to be careful with this situation because we're talking about a head injury. But as soon as he's cleared, I know he's eager to get back out. But he was out there moving around better today. What have you seen out of the young wide receivers that gives you out with? I know it seems like on the depth chart, you have plenty of talent from the veteran guys. But you see something out of a couple of the young guys that oh. they're going to be able to play this year? Oh, definitely. Uh, Ray Ray and Dion are as, are as good as advertised. Uh, it's just a matter of maturity, learning the system, the technique, because each day we're continuing to install, so things are starting to pile up. Uh, as soon as they get more comfortable with the system, you can see you start to see them play as fast as they were the first day when we didn't have as much in. But they're impressive. And then Travion Thompson continues to be solid. Uh, like I said in my last interview, he uh, he's probably been the, the best receiver, and he continues to make progress. And G Hop's making plays, so there's a lot of quality depth. And then you throw Renfro into the mix, you know, a guy that's probably not going to get as much of the publicity, but he's a really, really, really solid player that's coming along for us. So we got a lot of depth at that position, just kind of keep him healthy and keep him working. Like yeah. Jake Guillermo would move back up to second team center. What's he shown you to, to earn that spot? Well, you, we all know what we had prior to him, um, him having this issue and uh, coming back and just moving him, making him earn his way back up. And uh, he's getting in shape every day and, and he's fighting and, and the retention is there. So it was really just an issue of him working his, working his way back in and Coach Caldwell uh, making a decision on the rotation.